Okay, in this video, we are going to take a look at chapter 13, and that title is called Make It. Now, bringing up our to-do list, the one thing that we've been focused on lately is trying to do a simplified version of $5 plus $5 equals $10. So that's a simple addition. We're not getting into multi-currency at this point. We are just adding up two sums. Now, what we want to do is, if you remember, we put in a fake implementation into bank, and we want to remove that fake implementation. Longer term, we want to be returning a money object from the plus operation. Now, a couple terms that we want to introduce going forward in this section, and I, I actually learned these terms along with the author who wrote it, augend, that is the first value in an addition operation. So that would be the three and three plus six. And addend is the second value in an addition operation. So that'd be the six and three plus six. We are going to be using those terms in a sum object where we are going to create an object that's going to implement expression and that's going to have two properties. So we'll have a money object as the augend and then another money, money object as the addon. And that will give, that's kind of like breaking down the object of an addition operation into an object oriented model. Now what we want to do is implement that reduce operation in the bank. We're going to create an implementation. We're going to refactor things to make things cleaner. So what we want to do is I, I added in bank reduce money uh, to our list. So that's what we're going to be focused on here is that reduction operation. I'm going to jump over to IntelliJ. And much like I did last time, I'm going to write the test first. And then we'll get into it. And we got got a bit of refactoring that we're going to be doing in this section. So uh, the author has become more aggressive with the refactoring. So it uh, might not be clear exactly where I'm going with stuff, but hopefully we uh, get through things okay. And, and you can see, you'll be able to see how we'll write not so good code and then refactor to uh, have a, a much better and cleaner implementation. So I'm going to jump over to IntelliJ now. Now you can see that I'm back in IntelliJ now. And I've written three tests. These are three tests right out of the book. And we're going to go through and uh, set up things so that these tests start passing. So you can see here, uh, I have a sum object that's being referenced and we have a bunch of redness from the compiler, which is not happy. So the project will not compile right now. So we need to address that. And then the other thing we will be targeting is right now the reduce method on bank only returns back a hard coded dollar of, with a value of 10. So it does have a, a test passing but this is just a, a fake implementation of it. So we're, we will be targeting that for refactoring. So let's come over here and we're going to come in and create a new Java class. We'll call him sum. And that sum is going to have a money property, augment, Edmund, and I hope I'm saying those right. Now I'm sure somebody will be happy to correct me. And let's go ahead and add in a constructor for those. We can take those two properties in like so. Now what we want to do, so we can see that the compile goes away. And we want to be... Let's see here. So that's supposed to take an expression. Let's double check this. Money, money. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I had, on some, I forgot to implement expression. So that was my mistake. So we don't want the sum class also implementing an expression because it is going to be an expression for our addition. So my mistake there. Now my compiler is all happy. Next thing we want to do is come in here and add in a, a real implementation of that. So this is going to go away. What we're going to do is say sum, sum.
made a mistake here. I've got to do amount. So let's go through what I just wrote here. So we added in a reduce expression and we are going to take in an expression object, a two currency, a simple string, and then we have a cast there and that is not very pretty at all. And it's a, a particular code odor, but I'm following along with the example in the book. So we are going to go through the refactoring of this and let's go ahead and see if we can run our test now. So I'm going to come up here to the top of the class, click that, now run all the tests. And we can see that we, we have some things that went red. So we can see we're getting class cast exception. So that, that's not very, very happy there in the, the bank method. So of course that's, that test is now broken when we run all of them. But let's run them individually, the ones that we're targeting right now. So we can see the test plus that fails. We'll run that, that one specifically. And we're, we're getting class cast exception. So that's something that we want to be refactoring out. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. That's not a, a very good thing to do. So the first thing that we can do is if we look at our implementation here, we can actually push this into the sum object. So I'm going to copy that. And we're, we will also do well, a method to return back money. We're going to call this reduce as well. We're just pushing this into the uh, sum object because it, it really knows, has everything it needs to do the operation. So we just need to return back a new money here with the amount and the, the two value, like so. So now we can come into bank and change this. This goes away. What we can do is say if source So now we, we are uh, getting rid of the cast ca class exception. So let's go ahead and run that test again. Yep, we're still getting the, the class cast exceptions. And that, that's because what's going on here is we are falling through and things aren't, aren't happy with our test because what we've done is we're using these casts and it, it's pretty, pretty ugly the way things are set up. We do have the, the one test that's still failing, but you can see we got rid of a couple of the others there. And I'm not going to debug it, you know, go into details about why things are failing here because uh, this is not a very good implementation. Because if we look at it, we are doing checking to see if the instance of this is a, a money and it, it's just not, not a very good implementation at all. But we do have a, a chance here if the money object were to interface a reduce. So notice that we're just returning back that. So if money came down here, uh, public, like so, and then we can clean this up quite a bit. That becomes cleaner. So now we're adding the reduce method to money. And what we can do is come to expression. 
Yep, actually, I can refigure it. Refactor that from there. So let's come up to this. And I'm going to come into IntelliJ, say refactor, pull members up. And we are going to say pull it up to that. Now let's make sure that happened correctly. So now we can see that the interface expression implements re reduce. Our sum also implements reduce. So now when I start working with an expression, this becomes much cleaner. Because now the bank is bringing in the, this. So let's come over here. I'm going to comment this out so we can see it. Now this becomes return. Like so. So we're not doing all this uh, rigor mall of uh, trying to guess the object type. So now we have better values, better a better object model. So I can get rid of all this. We're not doing the cast. Casts are generally, when you see a cast in code, you're probably doing something wrong. So now let's see if our tests run, are all green. And we still have the one failing test. Took a little closer look at this, and what I missed, I missed one step here, the plus function. So I'll expand this out. The plus function is now re still returning back a new money, where it should be returning back a sum, an actual expression. So we do sum. Like so. Now let's run all our tests again, and we'll see that they should run. So everything's green there. So we did a number of refactorings. Let's just uh, go through it a little bit more, uh, just to recap. So we added the class sum, and it implements an expression. It's got two properties. So we're basically mimicking a sum operation with an augment and an admin. And we have a reduction operation, which is going to reduce that to a single money object. So the reduce is going to take the two money objects and reduce them down to a single money object with the sum added together. So you can see there on line 16, we take the two amounts, we add them together, and then we return back a new money object. So that's what's meant by reduce. So we're going from two money objects to one money object in the reduce operation. Our bank Im implementation is going to go in and reduce them down uh, a little bit further, but it is going to be dependent upon the source that is passed in. And we change the expression object to require a, a money object to be reduced, uh, returned back from the reduce operation. And we added that in to the money object and also our sum object. So it gets a little confusing about the object model. Uh, once you spend a little more time with it, you'll you'll start to see how these components get together. And what we are doing is we are going through a process of refactoring how this code to a longer term goal. So you can see here we implemented it. We had fake implementations. And again, we went back and refactored and cleaned things out and got to a better object model for our little multi-currency money test. So you can see I've brought back up our to-do list and we have crossed off the bank reduce method. And we did a, a little additional re refactoring there. So now we're going to continue on with the other task coming up in the book. And in the next chap chapter called Change, we're going to be taking a look at uh, reducing money with a conversion. So you can see the object model has evolved, and we're kind of setting ourselves up to start handling that multi-currency stuff. And we'll start dropping these other issues off our to-do list.